What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW Ringside Exclusive Unrivaled Figure Review on the Ringside Exclusive King of Hearts Luminaries Collection AEW Unrivaled Owen Hart figure. Now, that was a lot, and I did that in one take. That was the first take. We're off to a good start. But unbelievably, we finally have a modern take on Owen Hart. Well, I guess not a modern take, but a, a modern action figure of the late, great Owen Hart here today in the review station, man. Unbelievable. I remember when they first announced it. I remember when Jeremy announced it on Twitter that we would be getting this figure and, you know, AEW bringing his licensing and rights in. Unbelievable stuff right here, man. It's absolutely a mark in history. I think this is a really big deal. I am very excited for this figure. Now, I know that it's not a lot of people's go-to figure when they think of Owen Hart. I know it's not what everybody wanted as far as gear is concerned and all those things, but maybe we can get something down the line that we, you know, is more accurate to what we want or something like that, but I'm still excited. I think this is still monumental in terms of figure history, especially when you consider all the things that have happened over the last 20 years. But I'm excited for it today, man. If you guys would like to grab this figure, you already like what you see, you want to get your Owen Hart figure already, you can go over to WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But here's the packaging. It is Ringside exclusive, so they are going to always do it up. You got Owen Hart and big gold on the front. You got King of Hearts down there at the bottom. Got the gold foil on there, of course. You got Owen Hart on the side. Nice shot of the man. Nice front viewing window. You got Luminaries Collection. A nice little collage of Owen Hart images. We get some cool accessories in here. You got the hearts. You got the stars. I mean, I am enjoying everything about this figure, man. Got the ringside exclusive button on the side. Owen Hart Foundation down there as well. But what we're going to do is crack Owen Hart out of his packaging. Take a closer look at him and see what this figure is all about. Alright guys, so here's Owen Hart out of his packaging spinning around. Really enjoying the jacket. I think the jacket looks immaculate in person. I think it looks really, really good. I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far. Of course, we are going to get into the details. We're going to break down the accessories, break down the figure itself, and I'm going to attempt to try and give you a formula for maybe how you can get this figure and then turn it into an Owen Hart in his classic getup or in the gear that maybe we'd rather see or a gear that's closer to what we'd rather see. So I'll see about that and play around with it, but nonetheless, we are going to get into his accessories first and then we'll bring it back and take a closer look at the figure itself in Owen Hart and take a look at some comparisons. Alright guys so getting into Owen Hart's accessories we get a championship, a cloth goods accessory, one off brand accessory, I don't know what the hell I'm saying one off the cuff accessory, not even that it's just it's sunglasses, it's, su it's sunglasses that's it. Two interchangeable head sculpts and that completes our accessories here. Now this championship is definitely unique right here, I do believe it comes from New Japan or I could be wrong about that but you have, uh, you know it's pretty long belt. I'd say it's pretty large. You got like some silver and gold. You can see the world right there. Don't believe it's the exact way the championship looked. I do believe this is the Stampede North American Heavyweight Championship if I'm correct. I could be wrong about that but I think so. I think that's what this championship is but you guys can see some lineage back there but it does clasp in there and the, the strap is a nice quality but I don't really have a spot for this belt. You know I I, I, don't, I don't know. Outside of this figure I, I don't know. Outside of that we do get sunglasses right here which I don't know if these are a new mold or not, but they do not fit on the headband accessory or head sculpt. They do, however, go on the smiling head sculpt, and, you know, they plop in there, you know, you gotta line it up. Classic sunglasses, you know how it works. Slide that up in there, and then it fits on the figure there. Kind of sits a bit high. It doesn't fit, like, perfectly, I guess, but I don't know. I guess it's not terrible, but yeah, it gets the job done, you know, kind of looking like Doc Ock or something, but he's got the long, flowing blonde hair. You got the sunglasses that fit in there nice. Now, this is the, first, the second head sculpt, or, no, this is the one that comes on the figure out of the packaging. I think it has good likeness to it. You know, it's not like his pissed off or serious look. It is his smiling grin there, and I like it. I think it's a nice little head sculpt here. I think the likeness is good. I, I enjoy the figure. Eyebrows and eyes and teeth all look good. Then you have sort of an, uh, a serious face, but he's got the headband on there. So, honestly, I think both of them look a lot like him. I really dig the serious tone of this one. I like the striped headband right here. It's not removable or anything, but I think it's a, still a really good head sculpt right there. It's got a nice, from the side profile, kind of looks like Owen Wilson or something like that, but I like it. I like both head sculpts, and I think both of them get the job done, and they look good on the figure, and we'll look at that in just a moment, but I did want to cover the head sculpts. And then we do have the beautiful cloth jacket. Now, this jacket, you guys already saw what it looked like on the figure, but you have the lightning bolts on there. You got these pockets that are printed on there. You got the nice silver stripes on there. Cool collar. You got the buttons down the front. It's got the cuffs in there. On the back, you do have the hearts, and then it says Owen Hart in silver. Very quality. It's got like a pliable, stretchy material on here, so it's not just stiff as hell. 
well or whatever. Uh, it does stretch a bit and it goes on the figure easy and it has Velcro in the front which I really like. So you know you can Velcro it up, remove the Velcro and also if you guys are planning on taking this off the figure or putting it on I recommend removing the hands first so you don't like you know tear it or anything like that or mess it up. So I don't know I like it. It's a quality jacket and I think you could put it on display for somebody else if you didn't want to you know turn them around or whatever. I think that would get the job done as far as display options but I'm digging the jacket. I think the jacket is W and the rest of the accessories are pretty good. Alright man so getting into the Owen Hart figure starting out with the head sculpt. We just took a look at the head sculpt but I think the proportions and everything are nice here. I think it fits the torso and everything. Now I know a lot of people are going to say does the jacket stain? I think it does Brad. I don't know if you can see it right here. Um, let me see if I can adjust. I don't think I, that's as low as it can go I think but there's one mark on the shoulder right there and I'm not sure if you guys can see it but there's also a spot right there. You see that right there? Yeah there's a line there. There's another mark on the shoulder. Not very noticeable but the one on the abdomen right there is pretty noticeable. So yeah it stains. It definitely stains so that's just oh god I'm sick of doing this. I'm sick of getting the stainage making me want to throw a fit. But you know it, it gets the job done I guess. Ugh. Nonetheless, I do believe this is a new torso. Haven't seen this torso before. Kind of a dad bod-esque torso. You know, not the most ripped up guy of all time, but he had some musculature going on. Pretty beefy guy. Nice sized arms here. No wrist tape or anything. Got the stars on the crotch piece right there. And on the back, it's got two more stars there for each butt cheek. So you got five stars on there. And then on the right, you do have the one lightning bolt in white. Other side, you got the same lightning bolt pattern. And then you do have just plain black trunks or tights. And then you have the white boots, which have a really unique sculpt. We haven't seen these before. They're kind of taller than the usual boots. They're pretty wide up front. They're very odd looking boots, but they, they are you know, they're, it kind of has like massive feet going on, but they're not, you know, it's not terrible. It's not like Adam Hangman Page from Series 2, but I think it does get the job done, but as far as your articulation, he can look down that much not much up because of the hair there, but you know, it's your standard AEW articulation. He can go above 90 there. Bicep swivel, you do get the double jointed arms there. You get the ball hinge and wrist rotation right there. Not ball hinge, but you do hinge in the wrist. Decent ab crunch because he's an AEW figure. You do get a decent little split. The kick forward is pretty good, I'd say. You do get the double jointed knee. Goes back about right there. You get the upper thigh cut. Boots swivel. Ankles move down and up. And he does have a very nice ankle pivot, but I don't know how well it would hold. But, uh, I don't know. As plain as the figure is, I know he is in Unmatched Series 6 or 8. I want to say he's in Unmatched Series 6 as the Luminary figure. So we're going to have three different Owen Harts, and they're all virtually the exact same. One of those is a chase, and I think the chase is either, it's, I can't remember off the top of my dome, but one of the chases is red or blue, and then the regular edition is vice versa, but we have a black, a blue, and a red, and they're all virtually the exact same figure. One of them may have a different head sculpt or something like that, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty much what you get. If you, you know, what, whatever you're getting here with this Owen Hart, you're gonna get the same with those, but let's take a look at some figure comparisons for this Owen Hart figure. And for your Owen Hart figure comparisons, here is Owen Hart AEW figure up next to the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Elite British Bulldog, and the Ultimate Edition Brett the Hitman Hart. Now, I think that these don't scale too badly, man. Like, why does... Like, are they perfect? I don't think so, but I mean, they look way better than a typical AEW figure does, usually when you compare them to a Mattel. Like, I, I like these comparisons much more than uh, what we've been getting here lately from Jazzwares and AEW. So, let me... Uh, like, you guys can kind of see the comparison there, but let me bring in, like, the... I don't, I don't know. Give me the Kenny Omega or something right here from the Supreme. Like, that doesn't look bad either. I don't know. It's just wild, man. Like, look, look at Aleister Black. This is the Elite 85 Aleister Black chase. I guess that doesn't look half bad. Why does the 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 Supreme Aleister Black or Malachi Black right here, man, is massive compared to not only Owen Hart, but the uh, other the other Aleister Black. Like, good God, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know anymore, man. But as far as trying to turn this Owen Hart into a singlet look. I mean, Wardlow is probably going to have a massive uh, torso right here. So, I don't know. You could put that on there and then pop this head off and then pop the Owen head on here. Again, I think if you're going to want to do this, you're probably going to be better off putting the... Uh, yeah, that's too tall. It's like a giraffe neck. I think the only way you're going to be able to do it is by putting this head onto a Elite or Ultimate or something like that. I think that'd be the only way you could make this possible. Uh, this still looks like a giraffe neck, though. Yeah, that's still a giraffe neck, and it looks like it's not, the proportions wouldn't be very good. So I don't know. You have to play around with the formula. Uh, head's a bit big. You know, I, I guess it's not like asinine, but I don't know. Uh, you want to, I don't know. I mean, I know like 
even if you put it on this right here, he's still gonna have a giraffe in it, you know what I mean? So, I, mean, I guess you can kind of see the potential there, but he's still massive, and you know, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't work, you know? I, I don't think it works there, but maybe you guys can think of a better formula. I think that maybe you could buy a cloth singlet, you know? Maybe take this body, buy a cloth singlet, put it over the torso, and you can switch these thighs out with somebody else that has, you know, the same skin tone as this. I think this is the Brian Danielson skin tone, if I'm not mistaken. So here's the Brian Danielson and yeah, they look to be the exact same skin tone. So maybe you could, you know, take this and put these thighs from this on there. And then, you know, replace these boots, replace these knee pads and put a cloth singlet on there. And then boom, you would have, you know, an Owen Hart right here. Maybe. I don't know. That's just like one of the options. Like, I think that could work maybe. Made him a little bit taller, but I think that's probably your best bet. Getting like a black singlet or like a big show singlet. Hold up just a second. All right. So I found this Kurt Angle singlet and I don't know, man. Just, just bear with me for a half second. You know, you could take this, put this down in here. Hold up. Okay, this is the back. So, you know, if you take the legs right here and just kind of shove them down in here. Now, obviously, it's not going to be perfect because I'm not going to sit here and do extra figure surgery on this. You know, maybe this is something that we can look into in a future surgery or something. But I know people that can make this singlet. They can give you a, a singlet that looks just like Owen Hart's. Maybe you get an extra Danielson, switch out his boots, switch out his knee pads. Look at that right there. That ain't looking half shabby right there. I don't know. Let's go ahead and plop this on here, and then we're going to know if it's going to work or not. That one strap up there. Like, this is an old Jax, I believe. I think it's a Jax Kurt Angle. And look at that right there. I mean, if you if you had a black singlet on here, or even a singlet that had all of his designs on there, and then you uh, put it on the, the... So the Brian Danielson lower half, switching out the boots and the knee pads with the Owen Hart torso, and then boom. I like it, man. And I think I think people would like this. If that's something you're interested in doing, man, I think, I don't know. Maybe you can figure out a better formula, but I don't know if it's going to get better than that. Go get a cloth singlet and then Brian Danielson lowers with different boots and knee pads. I guess these white boots I look, to, look to be the same height. All you'd have to do is put these white boots over here or maybe some different black boots and then uh, put some regular black knee pads on there, man. And then boom, you'd be cooking with peanut oil. But I think that pretty much wraps up this ringside exclusive King of Hearts. Owen Hart Luminaries Collection AEW Unrivaled Figure Review. I think that it's not the Owen Hart we all wanted, but it's still a big deal to get this figure, and I can't wait to see what we can do with him in the future. Not my favorite gear, it is Owen Hart, and even if you just want to buy this guy for the head sculpt or do something like that or customization, or maybe you can play around with some formulas and make it work, I don't know, maybe that's something you want to look into. I dig the championship, even though, you know, I have no real place for it in my collection. I like that we get two interchangeable head sculpts. I like the jacket a lot. I think the jacket it's sick as hell. Very quality jacket. I don't know, man. I'm digging it. I think it's a fun figure. Again, I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I think that this is a big occasion in wrestling figure collecting. I think that it's a big deal. And that doesn't really necessarily mean, you know, go buy it or anything, but I would recommend it. I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice touch, and it's a cool piece to add to your collection, especially if you want to try and, you know, play around with the head sculpt, do all those different things that we just discussed here. But I had a lot of fun with the review, and I hope you guys did enjoy it, and you guys can let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave me your thoughts down below. Like I said, I'd greatly appreciate it, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to grab this figure, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Grab your copy of this figure. Use code MDTOYS to save 10% while shopping over there. I know they have good deals going on right now, and they're going to go be they're going to be going on all the way through the month, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You cry.